Alright, lads, this is Amex and Chiquisa. I'll eventually get me intro right. That's. <clears throat> I've, uh, I've recorded a couple of videos today and I've not got my intro correct once. Um, I'm a little bit ill, so you have to uh, forgive me for that. Uh, anyway, what we are here is on Forza Motorsport 3. Yes, we are not on Forza Motorsport 4 doing King of the Mountain, whatever. We're on Forza 3. Something a little bit different. I did a stream uh, last week. And, um, you know, we was just going through the game as uh, as usual. And, um, well, I got this. The uh, McLaren B09. McLaren? It's a Mazda. It says so there. <laughs> Gordon Bennett. Yes, the Mazda B0986. One of the uh, Le Mans Prototype 2 cars. And, to be honest, I've always been a big fan of how this Mazda drives. Um, so, you know, I browsed the upgrades and see what I could do and there's an th interesting thing you can actually do with the Mazda you can actually swap the engine and the engine swap is interesting yes uh, my voice is definitely dead so uh, when I try and talk something in a higher pitch my, I just squeak um, you can actually swap in the engine and it's a rotary engine you can put a Mazda 3 rotor in the car, so it does take it a lot of horsepower down, 525 to 300, but it also drops it by two classes. It goes down to R3, but not only that, I can then swap it to be naturally aspirated, so it takes out even more horsepower to 263 horsepower, or I can put in a turbo. Um, yeah. 263 horsepower in this thing. Uh, and I think, from the looks of it, that is the lowest horsepower go. Oh yeah, I have bugger all money in this game. Uh, it is very, it can be very challenging to make money in this game, so I don't have any. Um, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, that is, I think, the lowest horsepower in any um, in any prototype car, 263 horsepower, it's, it is, uh, yeah, very, very not powerful. I can actually make it even heavier, so it can be, uh, even lower down in R2. Uh, do I even want to do that, though? Because, what, I can put it down to 720 PI. Um, I'm just having a look. Would there be any rims that I'd actually consider putting on the Mazda? Uh, probably not, but I I can. That's actually a pretty light set of wheels. Um, is there any other that I actually quite like the look of that add 18 pounds? That's what we're looking for. I do need to be actually careful with my money. Uh, those wheels actually look, look quite nice. Uh, look quite nice, sorry. Um, that was not the video lagging, that was me. Um, I'm just trying to think. Racing Heart, have you got a few heavy ones? Uh, 12. Pretty close, but not heavy enough. They're not that nice. Uh, Super Turismo. Oh, that's 15. That's 15 pounds. You know what? Bugger it. It's 720. We'll go, we'll go with these. The Super Turismo. Right, there we are. So, now, the car started off at R1. Uh, fairly high in R1. Hang on. Uh, if I go to buy cars, because it's in here somewhere. <coughs> there. 943 is what the car normally started on. We have lost 223 PI. That's a lot. I think the only other car that kind of rivals it is an FH5 with the Hoonigan RS200, where you can to put in the Turbo Rally, and it drops it all the way down to A-Class, and that's bomb of S1. Um, yeah. And you can do, you can drop even more PI in it, in this. So uh, yeah, let's see how it how it drives. It should be a good car to drive. I can cheat and put in the inline four shot case, but I'm not going to. Uh, nor am I going to put in the Mazda. Uh, I can put in there, but it's going to be hideously outclassed, so I'm not going to. I can actually put in the R3 World Tour, and that's actually pretty tempting. I will admit. I can actually put it in this. Okay. 
uh, Amalfi, or I could do Super Lab Days in R3. I'm not doing it in Germans. Uh, or I could do some of these as well. These are sort of like 14 minute races. Uh, that's a good fun circuit, this, the uh, New York. I might head to that later. Um, I think I can do some. I think I can do a. Uh, what's it? <clears throat> a custom. A custom race. I think. I think. Uh, oh yeah, I can free play quick race and not not. So I might I might head back to that. I might head do that in a uh, brief moment. But let's uh, actually do. Let's do what have we got in the world tour. We've got extreme circuit, regular New York, Twin Ming, Mategi. Um, <coughs> you know what? Let's do the Camino Vio extreme circuit reverse. This could be an interesting one. It's going to be. A, Decently long race this track covering uh, three, I think it's Ladira, Iberian, and Camino Veu, all mashed together. Uh, and it's actually a it's actually a pretty fun route. I've had I have turned the game audio down quite a bit so you can actually hear me, unfortunately, for you lot. Um Oh that's a good that is a much needed cup of tea. Ooh. Uh that's actually... I'll tell you what, right? FM... Forza Motorsport 3 had some genuinely interesting history. Um... <clears throat> yeah. It was... Yeah, it was... It's... It, there are some interesting stuff. I do really enjoy this game. I haven't done a look back on it yet. I might do at some point. Um... Do sort of a really rushed... Well, I'll say rushed. Sort of a crap review on <laughs> Forza 3. Uh, but no, this game is seriously, seriously good fun. Would recommend as well. Um, sort of kicking off the golden era of Forza. It is so odd to see a Mazda line up against some GT3 cars and whatnot. Right, okay, come on. Oh my god, the acceleration is so low down on the, uh, on the Mazda. Oh, that is not luck behind. I've, uh, I forgot, I haven't changed some bindings around. Like, I have changed things like the, um, the gearing and whatnot, but not the camera. Uh, well, like, I have altered some things. I keep thinking that A is look behind. It's not in this game. It's Y. Um, right, okay. I've got to try and find my way past the BMW up ahead. I'm not going to be able to do it here, and they're all going to outpace me. Because, oh, God, I've got sticky sticky uh night stick I do need to get that cleaned at some point uh my god the speed is pitiful I'm being out accelerated out sped by a V8 supercar look at the speed of the thing my voice however we've got a corner and look at the braking immediately back up the inside of the uh V8 supercar there we go we've got in that position going in the third gear this section's entirely entirely flat out there we go the Sort of multi apex section there. Let's see, am I going to be able to actually catch up to the AIs up ahead? There we go, through the cornering section. We are sorted. This thing accelerates so slow, it is ridiculous. 263 horsepower in a Le Mans and a LMP2 car is quite daunting. It's a, an interesting experience to say the least. The fact that, you know, I am driving a car that without any you know, power modifiers that you can do in, like, the multiplayer lobbies. Like, this is just how, uh, how the normal engine comes and think. well, I'll say normal engine, this isn't a normal engine whatsoever. Um, well, like, you know, this is just a modified engine, uh, an engine swap, and I can remove the turbo, so it's literally just a 260 horsepower LMP1 car. Oh my god! Come on, like, no, I'm not going to be able to do anything down here. Yeah, the GT cars. It's actually a an interesting challenge. That's, oh, crap. I've damaged the car quite a bit. The air. air oh, oh, that's going to be an interesting thing. Because now, I'm going to be even slower down the street. In slower around the corner. Oh, my God. I can't do anything against the BMW. It's absolutely flown. Us, the, us four at the, uh, at the front have really flown away somewhat. Oh, that is a... Not quite a flat out corner, huge slide for me there, uh, around the uh, final corner. Right, I might, I've got to try and find a way past this BMW. 
Oh, crap. I'm not gonna do it like that. I'm just gonna rewind, because I... I am trying to get... Oh, bollocks. I am trying to actually get money in this game. So I am going to rewind. Uh... Okay, let's... No, I, I was thinking about diving up on the inside, but, uh... My acceleration said no. Uh... Oh, crap. Oh, it's a GT2 car. Never mind, I thought it was a GT3. Uh, right, okay, I'm gonna dive up the inside here. A little bit of a corner cutting, but also I think this is Ladera, this section. It's always kind of tricky to properly race around uh, Ladera because of the, you know, the curves and whatnot. You can sort of take more liberties. Um, so, yeah, there's just lines all over the shop. I come absolutely outpaced by them. Look at the gun! <laughs> They're just gone down this long back straight. And we've got the Ford Falcons back there that are going to catch up to me massively. 146 miles an hour. <laughs> That's all I can manage in this thing, was 146. I probably could have gotten a little bit more if I shifted it into 6, because I think... Actually, no. I don't think I was falling out the power band, so... There you are. I really need to find a way past this BMW. I'm going to go for it around the outside. I draw alongside, we're still side by side, I'm not going to be able to do anything, no. Although the AI is going to back out from that eventually, that's going to give me the uh, position. So I'm now currently third place, so let's see if I'm going to be able to catch the Ferrari and the Porsche. That is uh, up ahead at the moment. Huge uh, breaking zone into this right-hander, and then we've got another left-hander. Come on. So really, what I've got is the cornering advantage, because of course, whilst it might be down on power, it's still a Le Mans, it's still a uh, LMP2 car, so I've still got all of the handling capabilities. Yes, my aerodynamics is a little bit damaged, um, the side skirts and the, uh, and the, whoa, and the uh, back of the car is damaged somewhat. How's the, uh, oh yeah, there's a few scrapes along the side. Ah, oh, it should be fine. Oh, buff. Uh... God, where's the Porsche? I can't see. Where's the Porsche? Oh, it's further ahead. I thought I was uh, really having to try and go around the outside. I was a little bit, but, uh, you know, not by uh, not for a long amount of time. Got a huge jump. Well, for them, it's a huge jump. For me, it's nothing. Uh, right, okay. Oh, huge slide for me. Come on, let's uh, keep it all together. That BMW is getting closer and closer through the beginning stages. Flat out! Whoa! I hit the grass actually quite heavy. Right, I've got the Porsche. I'm going for it around the outside. Oh, I may have cut the car off a little bit. Probably a... Oh! Jesus! That <laughs> scared me, the sudden collision noise against the uh, the 430 there. I did manage to get past the Porsche. Just got a little bit of a slide, but this is where it's going to absolutely fly past me. Look at the speed of the Ferrari already running away from me okay into fifth I'm gonna block the inside line I'm not gonna be able to do anything about that Porsche look at that that's doing at least 150 and I'm I'm struggling to get past 145 146 again admittedly not helped by my damaged aero um, that is not helping me in the slightest uh, let's see am I gonna be able to get past you. I'm going to have to throw it up the inside here, draw alongside the AI being quite uh, quite ca quite cowardly, just back out from it. Just a small tap on the brake through there and quite a big lift. Huge jump there down the uh, bomb hole section. Into fifth. Really now it's just a case of can I chase down this Ferrari, overtake and keep it behind. Uh, oh, slight tag from me. That was a not intentional. Look at the acceleration of that thing. I mean, to be honest, yeah, sure, that's pretty low in uh, uh, in R3. Like, what, that's 740? The max PI is like 800. Um, so, yeah, these are pretty low down, but of course they're pretty low down. Because, uh, well, I'm only in a car that's 820, so uh, I kind of do need some sort of close competition. Uh, God, right, okay. Uh, oh, Slight tag there. Mistake from me. I'm going to... Oh, they hit the huge bump on the right. I'm not going to be able to get the overtake, though, because my acceleration just is not there. They are breaking quite early. Oh, I dove across the cross, across the uh, grass for that one. I'm not going to... I'm going to not take the damage. I'm 
still trying to earn some sort of money. I want to earn as much as possible. Oh, I went, I went way too wide there. Uh, it wasn't the worst line in the world, but I'm not going to be able to get the position from that. They're going to run away again. That Porsche is catching up to me quite quickly. The huge jump from it. Uh, really, it's just a small lift on the power around that final corner for me. Whereas the AIs, it is on the brakes. Oh, God, come on. I'm not going to be able to get past there without running straight into the back of the car. Up ahead. Uh, let's see. Am I going to be able to do something here? Uh, nope. I'm going to take out all of the uh, all of the glass on the brake lights. Ah! Uh, nope. I thought about going on the inside there, but uh, I wouldn't be able to do it. The acceleration on that Ferrari is just too pure. It's just too mighty. Uh, for me, and this is where the Porsche is potentially going to fight back. Come on, into fifth it is catching. It is catching like mad. It is catching. I'm only doing. Oh, it actually did not fancy overtaking. But I am going to have to defend from it. Okay, let's go lay on the brakes. Come on, huge understeer moment there from clattering the curves. But I am through. I am through there at least. Go on, in the fourth gear. Really, now I've, I have, I don't have many more opportunities to get that Ferrari. Oh, that was way too uh, ambitious for me there, turning in a little bit too early, trying to carry too much speed, and uh, that's actually slowed me down quite a bit. This is uh, also when my car's slow because it does not have the acceleration out the corner compared to the GT2 cars, some of the V8 supercars further back actually there. They've been struggling quite a bit. What are they in? Viper. Oh, okay. Oh, there is a... Uh, there is also a Holden Commodore back there as well. Yeah, they're struggling to keep up with us lot. Uh, we are running away from them. Uh, oh, that is pretty cheeky line from me. Not gonna... Well, I mean, to be honest, even if I drew alongside, it's not gonna matter. The acceleration is just too good on that Ferrari. Ooh. I've gotta try and find a position. I'm gonna go around the outside here. Make it hold. There we go. I think the AI actually slammed on the brake quite a bit, but I did manage to go, to go around the outside. My nose is currently blocked right now. That's not great. My talking, already bad talking, is going to get even worse. I'm going to need a quick swig of tea. I've got plenty of time. Have you seen the acceleration? I'm only doing 100. Hmm. There we go. That was a huge jump from the Ferrari. It's going to Try and go on the inside. No, I kind of spooked the AI a little bit. If uh, if the AIs weren't so easily spooked, I think that Ferrari would definitely still be on the inside line. Probably oh, accelerating me up to here. But, oh, that was a huge slide, actually. That's the first time I've been able to take that section at the speed I wanted to take. And it is relatively... And it is practically flat out through there. Uh, yeah. As well, this engine swap, this is the only game where you can do it to this car. You can only do it in FM3 to this Mazda. Which I think is actually really interesting. And it's kind of a shame that did not carry over to like FM4. Considering you can put on drag tyres in FM4, it might be an interesting if this was like an S-Class car. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, can't do it. So, there is... There is that, yeah, I can see the Ferrari, because I noticed the little dirty lap icon, that that Ferrari was starting to get into my slipstream at the very end of the straight. That's just how much quicker that car, excuse me, that car is compared to me. Also, that cup of tea's now lost, actually, a lot of temperature. Again, small lifts on the, small lifts on the power and slight taps on the brake, and we are through that section. Admittedly, though, quite wonkily because of course the aerodyne because of course the aero damage actually does have a pretty big effect in this game your acceleration top speed your braking and your handling is affected actually quite a noticeable amount i mean what's it uh you know the side skirts and the rear and the back is only damaged 10 percent and 16 percent but it drives it does drive a l quite a lot worse than it did. The back end is stepping out a lot more 
then uh, then it usually does. Oh, that's very risky. How did I save that one? I have no idea. But uh, yeah, that was overly, overly risky. Come on, gotta uh, go through here. Uh, there we go. Get you onto the power now. 100 miles an hour in the fourth final lap of the uh, of the race, so we should be pretty good. Come on, we've just got one more corner to go. There we are, just the smallest of lifts and across the line. A 2.32 from a, a really low powered car, there we are. I was actually on pace for them until I managed to get away. Yeah, fair bit of, fair bit of damage, but we leveled up the car so we got more percent on a uh, on a supercharger for a bunch of manufacturers. That was actually a lot of fun. Uh, where should we head next? I reckon we should do one of the super lap days. Um, in this, we'll go around Rally de Positano. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna do Nurburgring all the on because I have me uh, arse handed to me. So I want to give this guy at least some sort of a chance. So we'll head here. It's, uh, seven a bit mile. Should be pretty good. Only have to do one lap. Hmm. Yeah, Kozlik's not been around that long and it's already sitting. <laughs> uh, and, you know, it's been around for a little bit. 20. What was that? So, sort of like 22 year? And, uh, yeah, and already, um, <laughs> sitting already fighting with the big guy. So, there you are, in terms of speed anyway. I do love Koenigsegg, just the madness from them. <laughs> Excuse me, just the madness from Koenigsegg, just absolutely brilliant. That was lukewarm. Uh, right, so this track, I really like Rally de, Rally de Positano. Uh, it's a shame that this got removed from FM4 because I absolutely love the ludicrousness of this track. It is literally just... It is like a race, it is literally like if a race track was a maze. It's incredible. Right, okay. I've got to try and go around the outside of the BMW. I'm not going to be able to do it. No, we've got, whoa. Right, I've got to be careful because I'm trying to, try and do this run without damaging the car. Oh, on the power a little bit too early. I should have shifted down in the first there, I reckon. Acceleration, not there. I've got the... Ford Falcon, that one is, looking every which way, trying to find a way past me. I'm not going to find it there. We've got a huge jump uh, through there. Oh, got to be really careful. Oh, right, okay. Over there, bobbling over the curb somewhat. I forget this car's naturally, now that this is naturally aspirated, I can run it in first gear. Get the acceleration out of the corner. Right. Uh, oh. I did think about trying to go up the inside of the Porsche, but uh, I wasn't going to do it anyway because I'd absolutely just slam into the into the side of it. That was actually big breaks for me. They are look, pulling away from me a little bit. Can I go around the outside? No, nope, not quite. I was uh, a little bit too cowardly. The Porsche is actually, I think, dropping back from that BMW. Oops. Uh... I think it is actually starting to drop back from that BMW and the Ferrari. Oh god, I keep forgetting that it's A to change camera. Right, okay, let's try this again. I'm going to go around the outside, sweep around the outside. Look at that. Without damaging, well, using a little bit of cheeky rewind and, um, you know, because the car was damaged. I, I am trying to keep the car undamaged because I want money. Uh... Right, okay. Am I going to be able to go around the outside of the BMW? No, not quite. Uh, what about here, though? Sweep it. Come on. Use the 200 horsepower, and there we are. We are actually through there. Now I've just got to try and take down a uh, different livery Ferrari. Take down? Overtake. Um, a different livery Ferrari 430. This isn't burnout. That was actually a huge bobbly section over there. Uh, am I going to be able to find a way past here. No, I'm going to have to sweep it around the outside. There we go. I've got the position against the Ferrari. And there we are. We are currently in the lead. Oh, going to struggle up this section a little bit. 
the acceleration just isn't there. I'm going to defend somewhat. Actually, I thought it was a, I thought it was a right-hander coming up. I was a, I misremember the race route. Well, I'm going to be stuck on the outside. Nope, I'm going to have to concede that position. Uh, the Porsche is actually fighting back. The BMW, BMW defending, going on the inside is going to hold the Porsche off. The Ferrari again, some time on me. Got to slam on the brakes, though, and I gain a lot of time back. Oh, I tap the Ferrari somewhat, trying to go up the inside through that. That's not going to work. Oh, the slow through that. I'm going to shift it down into first, try and get some acceleration, best as I can. Can I dive up the inside? No. I tried to, the AI, it was a, quite ambitious, I will admit. The AI just didn't give me the room necessary to get that position to, uh, or get that move to work. Yeah, even now that the aero is undamaged, it is so much nicer to drive. I've got the BMW trying to go up the inside. I did spook them a little bit, and the uh, Porsche kind of got spooked out as well. Now we've got a very long acceleration zone. This is where the Mazda's going to be hurting. It's not a very wide section, though. I am going to be defending from the BMW. Through this uh, left-hander, it did not it did not fancy its chances. I, uh, I'll break myself massively. That's going to allow the BMW to go up the inside. It's going to hold it there. Not quite fancying overtaking me. And then we've got to a corner where I do... I'll handle it, and there we are, that's second position, defender, that's a massive jump, that's going to allow me to dive up the inside though of the Ferrari, and I get that position, holy crap, that was insane, that was not intentionally part of the plan, however, I'm glad it did work out, that has became part of the plan now, right, okay, got to really be careful through these uh, through uh, these sections, oh, the back end, no, god damn it, rewind, cheat, look, it's, it's there, it's a game mechanic, I'm going to use it, All right, okay, there we go, we are through there, better, this time, <laughs> bloody hell, I love this track, they're just the jumps and everything, oh, come on, slam on the brakes, there we go, through the Gears. Now, I imagine this was actually a pretty good car in R3. Uh, especially around some of the more technical sections, because it is... Well, because it's a Le Mans car, the handling there is... The handling is just impeccable. So, around some of the, twist, the twistier tracks, it probably did actually do very damn good around them. So, uh, yeah. I'm actually pretty interested. Oh, I tag the wall on the inside there a little bit again another huge jump but uh yeah it would be huge and a car with a little bit less aero uh because i do know that actually affects the airtime which i do think is very very cool oh slight tag on the wall there all right yeah now i uh now that i'm in clean air not tr trying to keep my car intact uh well now that I'm in clean air, and I'm still keeping the... I was trying to keep the car intact, so... Um, what's it? <laughs> but as soon as I do that, the Mazda just absolutely flies. It's a really short track, actually, about five minutes. But it's a bloody brilliant... Oh, no, I lost a credit in damage. Ah, oh, how will I live? Uh, I will do one more race. I will do New York. I will do the route with the chicanes. Um, and hopefully I might have to do a quick race I think I can set the amount of laps in the quick race because what if I do what is it <laughs> god damn it oh yeah oh it's a drag race no thanks I don't want to do a drag race uh, or speedway because this is the yeah that's just the old circuit and there's no point looking down there because all oh, that's going to be way too easy your current uh, car is in the wrong class for this event. Oh, yeah. By removing upgrades, you can uh, make the car eligible. By adding upgrades, I think you mean. Uh, no, I've just looked in there. What am I looking there for? I've just looked in there. Uh, yeah, because this is going to be 14 laps. And I think it's like a 15-minute race. It could be an interesting one, though, because the AIs are going to be a lot quicker than me. In the, the tricane part. But I'm going to be flat out. 
Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's let's do it. Let's do 14 laps. All right. So what I decided to do was redo the um, <clears throat> the New York circuit, mostly because uh, yeah, I. I, as you can sort of hear, my voice is starting to go a little bit through that. I was just coughing and my nose wasn't great either. I was just constantly breathing out and things like that. So I was pretty bunged up. So uh, I've cleared it. So hopefully, hopefully it should be okay. Uh, I've set the AIs up. A lot of them are here. Well, all of them are in cars that are faster than mine. I've got two Panoses. Uh, there's a Ferrari 430 and FX and FXX. Sorry. Um, there's a Porsche 911 GT3, and the hardest AI to probably overtake is going to be the Audi Touring Car. And of course, I'm going to be starting from the very back. Um, what I am going to do quickly, I'm just going to change the, I'm going to change that to a 15 second end of race timer. Um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully this should be an interesting race. I've got damage on, and of course, because it's a sort of multiplayer lobby. Um, I'm not going to be able to use rewind, so I can't even cheat if I wanted to. So hopefully, I'm hoping to get a good start and find my way through the field. And if there's any AIs, I have to overtake through the corners. Hopefully, I can do it cleanly. Um, so I'm hoping for a good start and things like that. I've got itchy on the neck. Um, right. And when did I do that? I, honestly, I don't even know how I end up with like half of my scratches on my arms and whatnot. I haven't a clue, but. <clears throat> I've got them, so I'm going to have to put up with them. Uh, do, 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 do. Right, okay. Here we go. We are straight into the race. I've got the Porsche parked next to me. I can see the Audi Touring car. Probably the trickiest car to overtake on this. And let's see if I can get a good run. The Ferrari getting a quick uh, launch. We've got a few issues going on up ahead. Porsche's had an issue. The 430 there has gone absolutely... Oh, wrong button. I'm too used to playing FM4 where A is to look behind. Um, well, for me at least, the Ferrari's having a... Well, the full 30 is having a little bit of uh, issues back there. Not too sure what's causing them, but has fallen right the way to the back of the field. I've got a 911 Porsche looking to find a way past me uh, through the, through the um, moose test section, I'm going to call it. Pretty good through there. We'll see, can I get past that Viper? Not quite, it's gonna be too far ahead for me to try and do any form of overtake around the around the corner. So I'm gonna have to sit back uh, into line, hopefully use some of the slipstream. Uh, nope, never mind. Oh, that's gone. Uh, ooh, I think they're having a battle further back, just looking at the distance constantly increase. Leads me to suggest, leads me to think that. Right, okay, we've got to go through this section. I had a little bit of uh, aero damage uh, when I first did this, so it is it's definitely noticeable uh, when you've got aero damage in this thing, because my tops, my speed down the straight reduced quite a lot. Um, so yeah, aero damage, big thing to consider. Uh, with this, oh, oh, that was way too, that was very, very lucky. Glance off the uh, off the tire bundle so definitely slow down for the moose test section around the outside of the Viper I'm gonna be getting that position yes I am well about this uh, panels that is gonna be a no I'm gonna have to sit back hopefully use the slipstream to pull me through the Viper is not going to go for the overtake the AI just slamming on the brakes there so uh, yeah, that's gonna keep that's gonna keep me in fifth. They've actually dropped back quite a bit because of how heavy they slam on the brakes. Let's get you down into first. Now really, I've got to chase down the panos. Come on, in the third gear. I'm not gonna be able to do anything down the straight. Nope. A little bubble over the curb. Nothing. Uh, so bad though. I'm gonna leave you in fourth. Again, break through the right-hander and then through the left-hander. Hopefully that's a uh, pretty quick. It's, well, it's definitely got me to the inside of the panels. Managed to get that overtake nicely done. Now I've got to chase down the panel, the second of the panels is, uh, and hold that one back. Hopefully it doesn't try any form of 
uh, overtake because I think it is in the prime position where it's not going to slam on the brakes to try and get past me. Uh, yeah, I'm going to shift to the side because I don't want to run into the back of me. It probably didn't need to. It's very slow. Well, I say very slow. Compared to the Mazda through that section, it is very slow. But as a whole, it's not slow whatsoever through there. It's a GT2 car, for God's sake. Um, right, okay. So we are through there nicely. Uh, I'm... Oh, no, this is risky. Uh, no, it backed off from it massively. I didn't, and that's... Oh, no. Oh, that's my aero damaged massively. I'm not going to be... I'm, my lap piss is going to fall off a massive cliff. It's going to fall off a massive, massive cliff now. I've got front left suspension damage and aero damage all around. Okay. Uh, let's see how, how much now I'm going to struggle down the straight. A lot. Oh, no. I'm only doing 120. Where's the panels going to go? It's going to sweep around the outside. I can't do anything about that. The Viper starting to catch up. Oh, no. 134 and that. Oh, what? 135 and that's it. Oh, my... Voice is starting to go a little bit. That's all the speed I've got now. It's 135 miles an hour. Compared, I've lost 10 miles an hour now. Oh, God. I'm really going to now hold off that panels the best that I can. Third place was... Uh... Oh, I've... Balsed it. Ow. Yep, that's me. Balsed it. Alright, okay. Well, you get the idea. Uh, I'm just going to park it along here. I don't... Yeah. Well, there you are. That's that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, do the stuff the YouTube algorithm likes. There'll be a link in the description to join my Discord in case you want to say hello to me. However, that's going to be it for me. And until next time, ciao for now.